Hey guys, welcome back to another training log of us. It's been an exciting um, series so far and we definitely want to continue giving you more insights into our training, how we train, what we train and why we train the stuff that we show you. So in this one, we're gonna go through one of my upper body pull and push, push sessions. This is actually one of um, my, uh, one of one out of the three pull and push, push sessions that I have throughout the week. And um, I really enjoy this um, this one because it's a combination of um, body weight and type of exercises, but also um, conventional exercises where I really can focus on building up more strength, especially because I had this um, injured scapula and that was really bothering me um, the last one and a half year and I'm slowly climbing back to being at 100% um, with um, in terms of strength level and performance um, output in my upper body. So here you can see um, some warm-up exercises as usual, great stuff, cars um, are always included shoulder cars um, with some scapular movements and um, really going through the full range of motion of that shoulder and activating also scapular protraction retraction and depression and also elevation of course um, i love um, switching my upper body warm-ups up so cars is always um, it's always in there. It's just a it's just, it's just a staple. But um, with all the other exercises that you will see in the following minutes, um, I always like to switch it up and um, be more like creative and yeah, just just to don't lose the fun aspect in the training, right? So especially with the mobilization and warming up in the beginning, this is a great a way to try out new. Um, new kind of warm-up exercise or new style. So um, it's been great so far. So really focusing here on activating all the muscles that are involved in the push and pull training and going really steadily and slowly through all the joints, really important warming up the elbows, the wrists, the shoulders and, and the scapulas. So really taking my time here um, usually this takes this series takes me around yeah four or five minutes so uh, then I'm gonna switch to um, some really more specific wrist warm-up you know, wrists are heavily involved in upper body um, push and pull stuff if you think about like handstands or pike push-ups or normal push-ups bench presses shoulder presses there's a lot of that weight or force being placed on our wrists so our wrists has just have to be warm up and ready for um, yeah the stuff that we place upon our wrists in this case um, all the forces right so I want to want to warm up my wrists in all directions you can see some internal rotation push-ups some gyro <laughs> girondo push-ups I think they were called stretching out my and um, the outside of my wrist and rocking back and forth really focusing on that warm-up I also love this bear crawl variation here and this stabilizes really great and activates my scapula which as I already said still been rehabbing on and feel very very great I mean I'm I would say back to 90% of my of my um, strength and yeah this overall and the bear crawl exercise in general really helped me with um, my scapula progression um, the last couple of months um, so I really love this walk crawling back and forth um, focusing on that push of the of my serratus and yeah flowing around a little bit warming up also my spine and eventually doing some push-ups um, with at the end you see that explosive pattern and um, really like that to activate really my packs to get them ready and fired up to push into full protraction and to wake my serratus up so it so he knows okay this man is going into a, a, a tough training session so I have to be prepared 
Also like this one, this is also great for serratus activation, overall shoulder stability, and um, yeah, overall great warm up exercise prior to your push session. Um, doing this um, two or three sets for five repetitions, very little weight, it's just for some activation, pushing up here into elevation, going down, just for the group um, and just to get the blood flowing to to get the muscles warmed up and uh, yeah just to, to focus just on injury prevention and maximal performance output so um the next one is again some scapula some loaded scapula stuff it's an eight kilo kettlebell here and i try to go through the full range of motion of my scapula i really ne neglected that um two years uh, two years ago when my injury happened um, and so I now that I learned my lesson, I really focus on warming up, um, especially my scapula and my shoulder area, um, a little bit more and a little bit more um, like precisely. So you already see and um, can tell this is a seven minute um, warm up already. And it's not quite done yet because I still go through uh, some of the rehab stuff that I just involve and incorporate here in my um, upper body pull and push session. So for, for everyone who's not interested like in scapular rehab or shoulder and work, then just skip this and go straight to um, my first like strength, real strength exercise. But for all of you who, who are still up for like, like this go through, through my warm up routine, I like this one also, it involves like, um, rotation of my of my spine my external rotators and my um the middle part of my delt really gets warmed up here so i really pull on that on that band and this really gets my my upper body and my delts and um, um, fired up quite nicely so after all this i finally go to the barbell and warming up um for some shoulder presses and this is not a conventional shoulder press of course I warm up as it is um, as it would be but then I'm gonna quickly switch after I put in um, this is I think 30 kilo some nice reps but then I quickly switch um, to the band banded um, shoulder presses here at 10 kilos on the right and left so i think this is um, 40 kilos in, in total with the band as a distraction shoulder press so just as i told you still rehab process this is um, me doing three sets of five with um with the band to really fire up my my serratus and my my delt and to work on more scapular stability and start with scapular strength and you still see um, especially with the 10 kilo here on the, on, um, on the bar or on the band, I would better say. And my right side is still not there yet. You see the barbell is a little bit more tilted to the right. So I have to, I just have to get more pushing strength from, yeah, from my right scapula. But as I said, I'm, I'm on a good way here and I really love this variation. I highly recommend you to test it out. So then, Again, as you, for all of you who are following us on, on Instagram or me, I loved to do handstands, handstand push-ups were my thing, freestanding handstand push-ups. So now that my scapula is slowly at 100%, I starting to do some handstands again. Again, still kind of a warm-up, but not really. I do just do some handstand holds. And this is a Chinese handstand technique, which I love to use. My big toes are just slightly touching the bar. And um, so it's, yeah, 95% of freestanding handstand. I just um, like this one because I can focus on um, getting more um, time and attention, more volume upside down in, but still can focus on keeping and maintaining the line. So this is great. I did three, three sets of those. Um, before then I finally got into my first real strength um, um, exercise that was on a plan and this is just conventional bench press in a superset with some incline dumbbell rows. So I really love to mix up and, and superset my exercise. Not only it saves me a lot of time, but um, it's really great to target the antagonist 
um, of the working muscles um, right away, right after the, um, the initial work. And this has been already shown that it improves strength output for the working muscle. And um, it's just an overall great combination. So here you can see, I think it was 90 kilo on the bar. Um, so did that for, I think 10, um, not 10, sorry, eight, four by eight, four sets of eight with 90. So I was pretty, pretty um, happy with the outcome of this. And yeah, just just felt so stoked, especially bench press. And I'm 100% um, ready um, and um, strong again and at, at my level that I was before um, the scapula stuff happened. So switching up to the, to the incline rows, really loving this. Um, yeah, 20.5 or 20, 22.5 um, kg in each hand, really feeling the upper back and squeezing it each rep. Not too crazy of an intensity because as I said, it's more push focused. So I love just to get the, the blood pumping in my back and um, really focus on the heavy push stuff. Next one was, um, was some dips. So I really love dips, especially on the rings. I just love ring work. Ring work is one of my favorites because yeah, it's body weight training is um, the instability of the rings, the extra challenge. Um, and I love to work with, an, um, with a complete body tension. So this is just a warm up to get in the groove nicely. I highly recommend you warm it up. And I completely forgot that I not just went straight into 90 kilo of the bench press. I for sure warm, always warm up with three or four warm up sets prior to those 90 kilos. So um, this is five plus five kilos and really strict ring row and ring dips here. Um, focused on the lockout at the top, twisting a little bit my with my forearm. So I really love good technique, especially with body weight training. So I highly, highly focus on full PPT, full core tension and some nice execution here. My superset this time um, was the one arm row. For all of you guys who follow me on Instagram, I love this one arm row variation because it's ha it has everything in it. It has like this passive hang in it with protraction and depression. And then I move into that retraction and also that hip thrust motion. And then with core strength and that retract a depressed scapula, I pull myself up and rotate myself in also. So there's spinal rotation, a lot of stuff going on with the scapula, great one arm pulling movement. That is a nice progression also to my so wanted goal, the one up chin up again. And overhead pulling work, I unfortunately still cannot do, or I just won't because of my, of my thoracic nerve that is uh, or was responsible for my um, serratus injury. So I'm still, um, yeah, very, very cautious here with what I'm doing with overhead pulling. So this one, I can highly recommend you try that out. And it's easy to scale. The more you walk back, the, the easier the one on row will get. The lower you are on the ground, obviously, the harder it will get. So this is a great one. Really try that out with that rotation full scapula motion and overall such a great exercise. So guys, I've been completely neglecting um, or most likely neglecting dumbbell work, but dumbbell work is back because my scapula is ready to go again. As I said, it's 90%. So butterfly and butterfly dumbbell, uh, the butterfly um, here with the dumbbells is great variation because I can really focus on the retraction, depression, full range of motion of the scapula. And at the top, I really squeeze out that protraction. So this is a great variation. Again, I love it and gives me a good, nice stretch in my pectoralis. And there's also a great difference between mid-range training, so body belt, bodybuilding type of training and using these old school exercises but with a full range of motion really provides you with mobility and strength. 
So you can really easily combine them into one training with these exercises, for example. For example, the one-arm rows that you just saw, this one really provides you with full range of motion of scapular stuff. You get a nice deep stretch and your end range for your pecs and still work on or can work on hypertrophy for your pecs. So again, supersetting the flies with the real dead, real dead flies here, um, dumbbells, great stuff for your rear, rear delt, your uh, rotator cuffs, your um, uh, upper back muscles. So this is already quite um, advanced into my, into my um, session. I was already feeling it, especially after the, the dips and the heavy, um, and the heavy um, bench presses. So you see also a nice variation, I love that. Um, really maxing out the potential of um, the flying variation or the fly variation. It's more like a bicep curl at the bottom, but then I go from, from below and over my head. Usually you, you see that on a, on a cable tower with, um, with two cables, but it's also nicely and gives you a nice feeling and range of motion through your scapula. So this is an awesome exercise to supplement just the full range of motion of, um, of your scapula and activate your pecs in a different way. So last but not least, some arm training. I love that, some nice little arm pump. And again, full range of motion training of your biceps. Here we work on shoulder extension work, so behind the back work and some bicep work. So these pelican, pelican curls um, are just so great for this extra, extra spicy bicep pump, but still working with mobility, right? So it's a great combination again, that's what we stand for, combining strength and mobility work. And um, this is an awesome variation I use a lot of times um, at the end to just get more out of it, get more out of the training. And now you see a great variation this pulling stuff here with internal rotated shoulders, rotating externally and pulling back. So again, working on full range of motion, getting some mobility work in while I'm just fatiguing my biceps and my pulling muscles. So try that out, I highly can recommend you. So next one, body weight triceps work. I really, really love body weight training. As I said in the beginning, I was, um, I, I'm into handstand, I'm in, I was into calisthenics um, through my um, now eight to nine year training history. So um, I still love some to implement that in my training. And here with the tricep, body weight triceps um, extensions on the rings, also switching up the grips, as you can see here. Um, really fires um, up the triceps on a different level and just gives you more of a variety overall. Don't have a, such a strict training. Of course, it's great, but at the end of the day, we need more variety. So last but not least, another bicep tricep superset, normal bicep curl, where I really focus on that peak of my biceps using here 15, 15 kg um, dumbbells. Um, two by two by ten on each side, um, supplementing this with the banded triceps kickbacks here. Um, usually, I love to do that on the cable tower, uh, but we don't have one, so we just have to be creative, guys. I hope you loved this insight of my push pull focused. Leave us a like or subscribe to our channel if you want to see more training vlogs and also. Leave a comment if you want to see one of Leslie. And we love to see you back in the next YouTube vlog.